Hello, everybody. Hopefully, everybody's getting some studying in so far. So I have had some questions, so I wanted to hop on to do a quick um, video here. So a lot of you have been asking where to start. So I do suggest starting at the anatomy section first and then going through the anesthetic and then the um, community after that. But you don't have to go section per section, meaning you don't have to, if you don't want to, study only anatomy for two days and then study only um, um, anesthetic for the other two days and then study community for three days. So that's all up to you. But this is just kind of a ballpark of, I don't, I don't um, um, want you guys to kind of do like anatomy, oral pathology, nutrition, all in one day, you know? So I, I picked these topics to kind of help you focus a little bit more. So let's say you're going through anatomy and you're going through either the study um, files or the anatomy um, videos first whichever you want to do. If you feel that those are quite easy for you, then you might be ready to take the mock exam after that. But if you're having a tough time thinking, okay, I'm kind of confused with some of these. I'm just gonna open up my textbook maybe, look at some, some of my notes through school first and then take the mock exam after that. That's all completely up to you. So this is just kind of a ballpark. Now, if it were me, how, how I would be doing it to, um, to really maximize studying as much as possible is I would go through anatomy first. So I do suggest, and I did send you guys an email, I do suggest going through anatomy for two days. So whether that be watching the anatomy video first, it's about an hour long, and then sort of taking notes on that might take you about two hours. And then obviously take a break after that. And then you, you might say to yourself, okay, I think I'm okay to go through more anatomy. So then you might be going through the study um, files after that. Um, <clears throat> um, after that. But, you know, you can't expect to memorize all of that in just three hours. So you'll probably end up watching, let's say, the, uh, the video first, and then you'll be going through the study files after that. But then you won't be able to memorize everything. So then you might have to put it aside and perhaps just go through some of your anatomy notes. And then the next day, you might have to watch the anatomy video a second time to kind of really understand it. And then by that second day, you will be able to understand a lot more and then possibly memorize a lot more too. And then you might feel ready to take the mock exam after that. Or you might be saying to yourself, okay, so I studied anatomy for two days. I'm going to move on to um, anesthetic to kind of give myself a little bit of a break. So that's why I did put it in this way, saying, saying study two days for anatomy, two days for anesthetic, and then three days, let's just say for community. Um, so then if you're going through, let's say anesthetic on the third day, kind of do the same thing. You might want to look through the um, video first, or you might decide to do some of the study um, modules first and then do the video after that. So that's kind of up to you how you want to do it. Feel free to, let's say, watch the video for an hour. Um, and then um, actually, I don't think that one's an hour long. It's just kind of a brief overview and then you might want to do your studying half of the module um, I should say half of the PowerPoint and that might take you three hours and then you might decide to look at your your notes on anesthetic after that and that might take another two um, two hours and then the next day um, review everything again because you can't expect to read something unless you're very lucky and then memorize it you know so you'll probably have to go through the same notes again on the second day but then after that some of the stuff should be starting to click in at that point because I designed the PowerPoint so that you don't have 300 pages of materials to study um, you only have what you need to know for the exam, possibly a little bit more to kind of add some depth to it because 
if you don't understand one part, you won't understand the second part, or you might understand the first half, but then the second half, you might go, oh, wow, well, this topic's a lot harder for me. So I need to go back to the first one and kind of study that way. So everybody's a little bit different, but I do suggest taking the mock exams at the end of studying as much of that topic as you can handle. If you feel you have studied all that you have to study on anesthetic and you're saying to yourself, okay, I think I know what I have to know. That's the perfect time to take the mock exam so that that way you can truly see if you actually know what you have to know or not. Because it's one thing to study everything, to memorize those notes, and then you'll see those questions in a different format in multiple choice, and then you go, oh shoot, now I don't know what I thought I knew. But that's okay, that is why the mock exams are there for you. So then that means you would go back and restudy, and then you kind of study it a different way because you know what's expected. So I suggest taking the mock exams at the end so you don't get too overwhelmed by taking them at the beginning and then thinking, okay, I know nothing because I don't want you guys to feel like that. This is meant to help to give you the tools to, to, um, to feel as confident as, as possible, but you have to start somewhere. You can't expect to know everything take the mock exam and then get perfect. It's not designed to get perfect because they're tricky questions. If anybody gets perfect, I will be saying wow, because these are very, very tricky. Um, and then after a couple days, I want you to move on to the last topic for the week, and that is your um, community. So a community tends to take people longer because it's not exactly exciting you will be definitely studying community probably three to six hours every single day and then afterwards you will still be thinking oh i feel like i know nothing so do the best you can with community i have the indices powerpoint for you and then a video as well take the quiz after you feel you know as much as you can um you know, everybody studies differently. I'm not here to tell you guys how to study for you because everybody does study differently. But I'm here to give you guys a guideline if you're that person who's saying, I don't know where to start, I need help. So this is where to start. Study anatomy for two days, study anesthetic for two days, study community for three days. Um, anatomy, you know, you'll be studying two to six hours every single day. If you're studying only two hours every day, it's going to take you longer to learn what you have to learn per topic. So per topic, I do suggest six hours a day, you know, two hours, let's say in the morning, two hours afternoon, two, after, um, two hours in the evening, that's perfect. Two, hour, um, two days anatomy, two days anesthetic, and then community three days, and that's the full week because now the week afterwards, you will be learning new topics. And that's when things can get overwhelming. If you haven't had a chance to go through the first week's topic yet, you'll be going, okay, now there's six topics here and it's week two. And oh my goodness, I didn't have a chance to go through week, um, week one yet. So do the best you can to really treat this as if this is an intense 30 day board exam prep because that's exactly what it is. This is not for, for somebody who has half an hour to, to study every single day. That's not bad, but it's going to take you longer than 30 days to go through everything. So I, I hope this helped. If you guys have, have questions, just feel free to leave um, comments and I am more than happy to help. I will likely hop on live at the end of the two weeks at some point. So I will let you guys know when that, um, when that will be. So then that way, if you have any um, questions to ask me then, then feel free to ask anything that you want. Okay, so this week, study anatomy, anesthetic, and community. Good luck, have fun, and I will be paying um, attention to everybody's mock exam answers to see how many you will get correct. So remember, technically a pass is 70, but I suggest 75, but I want you guys to get 80 or more, because if you only know 70% of what's here, then are you going to pass the exam? Maybe not. I want you guys to know as much as possible, so you will pass that exam, okay? Thank you guys for watching. Good luck, and I will see you guys very, very soon.